In this video, we're going to go over setting up projects. And this will enable your inspectors to select the project that they're working on. And if it's a simple project to navigate straight to a checklist and use that to do their inspection. But then if it's a more complex project where there are different phases, we can set up phases for the project. And then once you're in a phase, there might be different checklists that you might want to use. Here's a concrete delivery report. And then when it gets onto the inspection, they've already identified everything they need to know about this inspection. This is the screen that you use for setting up new projects. There's a list of projects here and some information about each of them. And as you see that there are phases that the project can be broken into. There are locations that can be part of phases or just operate on their own. You can have capital assets and also you can plan out inspections. And so that's what each of these different columns are. So what we're going to do is create a very simple new project. We're just going to add the name of the project here, new project. So we can add some phases quickly by going here and this will create different phases. So these are the basics and there's a lot more you can do and we'll get into that in a minute as we go through the details of all the different screens here. First, a little bit about how these screens are organized is that on the left hand panel would be a listing. And then on the right hand panel is the detail for any of the items on that list that you've selected. So here we have Crofton High School and we see here that we have information about the high school, who has access to this project, which checklists, which responsible parties, which inspectors. We've also are able to attach reference documents in terms of like PDFs or pictures or links to a drive and some additional details that you might have about a project. By moving these items up and down, we'll organize them in the order that the inspectors will see them when they are on the inspection selection process. Now we're going to talk about access to these projects. Now we have a lot of inspectors and we might not want them all to have access to the project itself. So on this screen, you can give inspectors access to the project for view only where they can edit it or they can go and create inspections where there was none before. You might have some extensive libraries of checklists on your account. And so here's where you're able to filter out from that list which ones are active on that particular project. And you might have a lot of subcontractors on your account. And here's where you can select which subcontractors are active on the project or which phases of the project. And now a brief overview of how to add inspection and test plans. We'll choose one project here that has phases. We'll make an ITP for a phase of the project. We'll choose the checklist. And uh, that's all you really need to plan out the uh, checklist. There's some more details in the right hand panel. For instance, you can set a start date. You could also choose predecessors. You could change the checklist, make it specifically for a location, assign a specific responsible party for it. You can assign that uh, ITP to the specific piece of equipment. So there's a lot of details that can go into fine tuning of the ITP. We have more details on this in our help documentation and other videos. So that about covers it for our quick view of the project setup. Thank you for your attention.